Hi, this is HL1ZIX, the Stingy Ham. Today we're going to talk about the vertical dipole antenna. And I've got a 12 meter HD spider beam fiberglass pole here that we're going to put the antenna on. Okay, what you're looking at here is a one-to-one -one current ballon laying on the table. And all I simply did was I took this 17 meter dipole which I'd cut using an online application called Antenna Tool. Uh, it's an app for your phone. And I just, uh, I pulled the 12 meter spider beam HD pole all the way out and taped it from the top, taped the dipole at the top, and I put some electrical tape around it about every segment or so. And then I ran it down to the middle to, we find where the ballon will go, and I just put some wraps of electrical tape around there just for today. I know it's ugly. And then plugged the, uh, put the uh, coax in there. And then the rest of the dipole is here, although I have not elongated the pole entirely. Uh, so we're going to put this up and we're going to see what it comes out to be on the analyzer. Okay, here it is. I put it up now and you can see as I tilt up, it goes up there quite a ways up into the sky. You can just see kind of the top of it up there. And uh, the Velcro strips are good enough to hold it, but you'll also notice that the feed line comes off at a bit of an angle. You want to pull that feed line off as, at as uh, wide of an angle as you can so it doesn't interact. There's probably some interaction, but if it's pulled about this far, I found there isn't a lot to worry about. By the way, I thought I'd show you the length of one of these collapsed spider beam poles. Um, you can get them on spiderbeam.com, by the way. Uh, and uh, yeah. Collapses to a pretty good size. Weight is about 7.7 .7 pounds or so. And uh, the top and the bottom actually come off. You can just pull the plastic piece off the top here, the rubber piece, and then you pull out the center. And from then on, it just becomes a thicker and thicker section. And you pull them to lock them tight. They do sell the clamps, as I mentioned. Uh, and uh, I've gotten by fine without them. I usually just... Uh, I twist them and uh, sometimes tape them with electrical tape. If you leave them up for a day, as the pole gets colder or warmer, it will expand and contract and it can cause it to come down. So you want to, uh, to tape them at least if you plan on keeping them up for a time. But we're going to go ahead and scan 17 meters, see what it shows us. Okay, we've got a nice wide bandwidth there. Uh, pretty good. And uh, yeah, it's actually about off by about 0.2 I found in the past. So if we go down into the range where we are going to be transmitting, yeah. After some adding and trimming and checking and trimming again, uh, this is where I'm at. I'm going to call that good and we're going to hope some more contacts show up either tonight or tomorrow and we'll see what we end up with. Okay, and as you can hear, I've come back the next day because 17 was dead when I put the antenna up. And uh, a lot of signals coming in now on 17. These are all going to be local Asia here this time of day, uh, Japan, which is about, uh, oh, probably six to 800 miles away from my location here in South Korea. Hotel Lima One, Zulu, India, X-ray. Okay, we're going to try a little lower wattage. We're going to drop it down to 15 watts. 15 watts. Hotel Lima 1, Zulu India X ray. Domorigato and 73 is back to you for your final. Over. Yes, you will serve uh, there is, uh, you too, not too much. They come up uh, the 592. Thank you very much. We will catch again any other one too. The HL1 to Italy X-ray. This is Japan, Florida 1. Italy, Radio Whiskey, 73. Domorigato, 73. Bye-bye.
Uh, Japan America 3, Boston, Japan, Zulu. Go ahead. Japan Alpha 5, Charlie Tango Whiskey, QSL. Uh, Japan America 1. QSL, J1 Fox November Alpha, you're 5 and 9 here, over. JA6 India Delta Japan, 5 9 signal, over. Yeah, you are also very strong to Nagasaki. Yeah, I'm ready to talk about the nice today. Yeah, 5 9 plus into the Nagasaki. Last to hear you, okay. Uh, bit of drum. J6 GZA Mobile, go ahead. J6 GZA Mobile, HL1 ZIX, thanks a lot for the nice contact. Beautiful signal for a mobile station as well. How many watts are you running? Over. Uh, only 50, only 50, and uh, also 3 feet, also 3 feet, very small antenna I use. Uh, uh, you get it? Roger, Roger, you're 59 plus 5 dB here, so doing great. Over. Thank you very much, Justin D4. Okay, thank you very much. Good contact. I hope to see you again. Have a good day. Asia 1, Zoo, India, X ray, Japan Echo 6, Golf, Zoo, America, Fukuoka, 73, Direction. Bye bye. 73, thank you very much. Bye bye. And QRZ? Japan, Japan 2, Japan 2. Japan, Japan 2. Japan, Japan 2. Japan, Tokyo, Germany. Uh, go ahead. Uh, 